what are some of the biggest changes that you've seen in the industry? And it can be for good or for bad, or maybe one of each. So <laughs> I'll start with the bad first. I think it's so funny. Um, it, it, it's a joke bad um, that male performers now look like they're underage, you know, <laughs> and they're not, they're not studs. They're like these scrawny boys because it's all stepmommy stuff. <laughs> Her yeah, it's stuff. really so interesting how that yeah. dynamic has shifted. Normally it was like what you wanted was these really young, like teenage looking girls and older men. And now it's like yeah. MILFs are doing really well. And then like really young looking boys. But you see yeah. a less outcry around that. Have you noticed that than you did with girls yeah. looking underage? Because yeah. the whole like victimhood idea with women and men are, you know, can handle themselves. Women can't kind of thing. I think that the whole boy thing is, um, you know, of course it's a generation of American pie, right? The stepmom, mm. Stifler's mom thing. Right. And then you're, and then they're born and raised on that thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think that nowadays, um, younger guys are softer and they they want to be pursued and they're they're scared to pursue a woman probably you know they don't know how to do it in a way that maybe is appropriate or they don't want to get in trouble or they don't want to say the wrong thing or they don't want to offend and so they become more meek and so for the older woman which is my bread and butter right now I, I have so many like mommy, dommy slaves now. Um, they want to be told what to do. They want to know that it's okay to X, Y, and Z. They, you know what I mean? Like, so I think it's just a, a, a dynamic, um, that is cultural, uh, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's nice. I think maybe that we're taking some pressure off of men to always be the ones in charge and always be the dominant ones mm -hmm. and always be the, you know, people who, um, why am I, I lost the word insight is not the word I'm looking for. What's, what's the word when you try to start oh, something? When they, oh, uh, you know, like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm uh, saying? I just completely, you know, like when you, yeah. you, you have a word on the tip of your Approach tongue and you lose it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, and, and then you, the more you try to think about it, the more it's gone. Anyways, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think it's a cultural dynamic. Um, and yeah, I think, I think. I think our young men are a little softer nowadays than the, the Rocco Sofredis of the world, you know? Right. right. <laughs> and that's okay with me. Yeah. Yes, and, and, how, and how wonderful it is too, that there's this whole new niche for older women, because I remember back in the day, you know, when I was working for my mom, for Suzanette, if a woman walked in and she was in her thirties, forget it. Yep. You know, like you were not getting any work. And now that's one of the most popular search terms is MILF. Like to be an older, yeah. mature woman is these women are incredibly popular. And even though I'm not a performer, it makes me feel better about myself because I am now the age of those MILF performers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's yeah, nice. It's, uh, it's, well, it's also happening in mainstream too, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, it's just this cultural shift where older women, I mean, like Jessica Lang, one of the greatest actresses of all time, you know, heading American Horror Story, you know, season after season after season, um, you know, um, so many older women now exist in the leading roles. Mm -hmm. It's a good, it's good. It's yeah. great. Older women are babes and we know what we're doing. Yes. And we will, we will teach you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. 
And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.